So Grace, welcome to Durham. How do you feel to be up here? Yeah, I feel really good, thank you. Um, I think for me, uh, obviously it's quite a move up north. I think it's about four and a half hours north of where I currently live or our home is. So yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, really excited for the new challenge ahead and just looking forward to getting stuck in. And obviously, like you say, it's a big move. You were at Bristol for 10 years in time for a new challenge. Yeah, I think for me, uh, like, I'm so grateful for what I've achieved at Bristol. I'm grateful for what the, the, the club and the players and the staff have done for me. But for me, it got to a point where I need a new challenge. Um, a new challenge on and off the pitch and obviously the off the pitch challenge is what has, has brought me here initially uh, but the on the pitch challenge is, is something I really want to embrace as well so a really good move for me and I'm excited for what lies ahead. And you mentioned the off the pitch challenge there during university giving you the opportunity to do a PhD that's not something you get offered every day. Yeah for me I think uh, for those who know so I spent six months in Zambia last year so that's a massive part of my life and and it's something I've always wanted to progress and take forward and, and links with Durham through the Zambia project obviously got me in conversations with here so they've offered me the chance to come and study a PhD on Zambia which is which couldn't be more perfect for me and, and, and especially with the links with the WSL team it, it's kind of a, a complete package that I wouldn't have got anywhere else so yeah that's the reason I've come. And you'll know Durham well having played them twice last yeah. season what did you make of us? Yeah to be fair um, I'm really really impressed by Durham I think when I go back to the original days of Bristol, uh, when we became an independent team, weren't linked to a men's club, quite self-sufficient, created our own identity. In many aspects, that reminds me of that. Um, like I said, you're not linked to really to a men's team. You've got your own identity, your own badge, and, and that excites me because it's a chance to create your own culture, uh, to create your own identity, to develop your own, own style of play that you can then take forward. So, so far from what I've seen, particularly when we played you guys, uh, really excited. Um, a team that has so much potential coming forth last year, I think we're just kind of touching the surface of where we possibly can be in the next few years are the best ones yet. And from the southwest to the northeast, it's quite a move. How are you finding the region so far? Yeah, cold. It is really cold up here, but no, I'm really enjoying it. Um, lovely place. Um, I used to go to uni in Bath, so it reminds me of quite similar to Bath. A really nice place, friendly people, and, and everyone's only made me feel welcome so far. So I'm looking forward to my next I don't know, 10 plus years here, however long I'm here for. Um, but I'm really liking it. Different change, but uh, an exciting one.